。好了，大家看到我了吗？好的，好的，可以，可以，可以。好了，那我看他们没有，我就用我的中文讲吧。那不，你还是用英文。啊，英文 OK OK。还在呢，奥斯卡在。OK， 呃、uh, ，My topic today, I will share my viewpoint on carry one and baseline imagination. So I think all the experts here can have your comments at any time during my lecture. Okay. First, I want to make a declaration. On account of the difference of the knowledge and experience among different doctors. Some of the complicated cases discussed in this lecture may be hardly experienced several surgeries by different doctors in different hospitals. We devoutly declare that all these surgeries were planned and performed seriously and carefully. 就是我做一个声明，就是我们虽然这个手术经历的多了，但是我们的每一个手术的计划都是，呃，认真的。So. Next slide. So let's see the first case. It's a 30, uh, uh, 36 female and have a, a history of syringomyelia. And the second case is a male 50. He already experienced a PDF only decompression, such like a posterior fossa decompression only. And the symptoms become worse 10 months later after the decompression, and the MRI and the CT before the first surgery were lost. So here I should use the uh, materials after the first surgery. Then we can see the uh, case three. So it's an original case. So let's go to the first case, the diagnosis. So it is carry or syringomyelia. So actually, at the here, we cannot see the uh, obvious uh, tonsillar herniation. So, uh, would there other experts, some experts, to have your opinions on this case? Yes, if uh, we meet this kind of case, we do posterior decompression and uh, open the dura, detect that the majority. Uh, uh, imagine the opening. Okay, and great. Sometimes we found uh, a, a very a very thin membrane uh, there. Yes. Probably someone right. someone refers to this type of uh, uh, of disease as a carry zero. Carry zero, not carry. Yes, carry zero. Okay, great. How about the case two? Uh, in case two, because uh, you 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 showed uh, no pre-operative uh, CT scan, I don't know whether there is a uh, examination of C one or not. Uh, but uh, and uh, also your your CT scan uh, is not enough. Uh, we cannot see the first joint uh, by by left side, whether it is stable or not. But with uh, this with this screen uh, material after the surgery, so. Still, there is a tonsillar herniation and yeah, a baseline yeah, yeah. imagination. So, oh, what will plan I to think, do next? I think for this patient, a uh, physician is not needed. Uh, if, uh, if, uh, if me, we do the we'll revision survey will be a tonsillar resection. Okay. You will do the de decompression directly, right? Yeah. No fixture. Uh, at least uh, with this. Uh, CT scan, I think there's no, no dis, uh, in, instability of uh, between C1 and C2. I think a physician is not okay. needed. Right. Uh, um, from this right. CT, uh, it, uh, it's difficult to see if there's uh, instability or not. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, I think uh, further evaluation is, uh, evaluation is needed. Maybe. Okay. Well, it, right. seems the, it seems the, the angulation is not normal. Yes, the angulation is not and, normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The English is not normal. Yes. And there are other different questions, uh, opinions? I think the case two should be theory and, and the fixation. Okay, good. Great. So the diagnosis is uh, tonsillar herniation and basal imagination because the angle is not good, right? 
Uh, I think there's a disability between the C, uh, C1 or uh, C0, C1. Okay. Maybe. Instability. So, uh, Professor Gore, do you, can you hear me? No. Actually, I would like to have Gore's point at the first two case. Unfortunately, he cannot hear us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the case three is an original case. I think the angle is not good, and the tonsillar is not good too, uh, herniation. So the diagnosis, carry and the baseline imagination. So I can, we can see the lateral facet, and we can see the angle, but no dislocation of C1, C2. So how about this case? For this case, I think you should add, add another diagnosis. The clavus dysphagia. The clavus. Clavus dysphagia. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sure. And another diagnosis. Okay. Okay. I think uh, I will go to the next slide. Right. Okay. Okay. Please. No, in my opinion, that is also some degree of plateau, platybasia. And in, in case in, three, right? Yes. It okay. Needs, there is baseline invasination, which is by definition unstable. So mm -hmm. I, would, I would do a decompression and remove the tonsil and do posterior fixation. Okay, you will do the you will do the uh, tonsillar resection only, right? No, but we will do some sort of uh, fixation as well. A fixation as well. Okay. So how about the the the, the first the two cases? You do not oh, have the first case is is it's a syringomyelia case. Yes. Okay. Uh, it has been said by Chan. That's that's what I would do. And okay. the second case uh, also the angle is not good. Might be some instability. The problem here is uh, the surgery that has been done before, right? So yes. It's, no. It's an original case. Oh, it's original? Yes, okay. original. Then the, I, I the kiss rate. The, the kiss rate different. did not have a, a surgery before. Okay, okay. So uh, I mean that case probably probably fixation is not needed in second case two. Oh, okay. So you mean kiss three, you need decompression and a fixation both, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. <laughs> 第三例呢，他可能不会做，但是如果做呢，也不是不可以，他应该他不承认，单纯做个减压，他是这个意思。啊，我我听的，我听他的意思是是，OK，那let let's go to the next slides，OK。我觉得，I think the first the three the third case is uh rather uh uh difficult to treat. Maybe there are a lot of uh method to treat it. Oh, OK。uh, so yes. when, when, yes. when you do the the dynamic CT for evaluate for the uh, stability of the C0 to C1 for the third case? For the third case, I do not. So you see the CT, um, the, 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 the below one, I think the, the, the pole position of the head is the flexion. Okay. So maybe uh, Professor Chow just mentioned the, the instability of C0 and C1. So okay. actually, I, uh, for my some case, I do dynamic uh, CT. I do find some uh, movement of the C0 to C1. But oh. I, I'm not sure which criteria for diagnose for the instability. But if you, you see movement, I, I will do the fixation, but if you didn't see the movement, I, I will just do the uh, tonsillar dissection. Okay. 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 Shall I go to the next slide? Yes, please. Okay. Let's see the first case. The doctor, the first doctor see the patient and got and have a surgery on syringomyelia to subarachnoid shunting. The shunting surgery here. The, the, the symptom ameliorate for six months and become worse one year later. So that's the first surgery for the first case. 
And then for the second case, the, the, the second doctors got a C1 and a C2 fixing. He said uh, he may think it's because the first surgery failed, the decompression didn't work. So the second doctor did a C1 and a C2 fixing. Two years later, the symptoms only just improved two months after the second surgery. And uh, two years later, the patient, when the patient come to my clinic, he cannot take food. Weakness of the forelimbs and could not work, even could not turn over on the bed. Now we can leave the third, the third, uh, the third case for the later discussion. Just see the two and the, the second. So what should we do on the first and the second case? Hello? In the first case, I think uh, drainage tube is a choice, but uh, usually um, there's a lot of, uh, it's not a, a very sure uh, method for patient because uh, uh, most cases, uh, the shunt were occluded in, in a few years. In the second case, I think uh, because this patient have no syringe myelia, there's only care malformation. There's only tonsil herniation. Um, so we should uh, understand what the symptoms come from. Obviously, it's not from uh, syringe myelia. I think uh, the symptoms come from uh, the compression of the tonsil uh, herniated tonsil. So yes. I think uh, physician, physician can maybe can, can stable C1C2, but uh, the compression has not been solved. So the patient uh, symptoms uh, has not been relieved. That's my okay. thoughts. Great. Great. Any other suggestions? Okay, next slide. Yes, I do agree with all of you that the first case is the carry zero. So even we cannot see the obvious tonsillar herniation, but there is the CSF dynamic disorder at the CVG junction. When I open the arachnoid membrane, so I have to do the laces all the way. So. Uh, I agree with Dr. Chen, Dr. Jian, and all the experts here. So it's a uh, uh, carry one, carry zero. And also I do the subarachnoid manipulation and the, the, the patient recovered very well. For the second case, so I do the tonsillar rejection because the tonsillar the tonsillar herniation is the main problem of the patient. And even we do the C1, C2 fixation and solve the stable uh, stability problem of the case, but uh, the tonsillar herniation didn't recover. So I do the subarachnoid manipulation, resection of the tonsillar, and I do a cranoplasty too. See here, cranoplasty and the patient recovered normal one month later. Now we had a two year follow up. He recovered to normal life and worked till now. So that's the first case. So uh, I agree that the, sometimes the basilar imagination is the cause of the tonsillar herniation, but not all the tonsillar herniation is caused by the instability. So now, what should, what should we do on the third case? So like, uh, I agree with Dr. Yu's waypoint and all the doctor here because uh, it's a baseline imagination, tonsillar herniation, and the patient even have an instability. So to the third case. What's up, man? Hello? Any question? Tindajama. 
，Hello， 呃，能听见 ，OK，Hello，Yes，So、okay. yes. so for the third third case， I agree with Doctor Doctor Oscaros one point， I do the resection decompression。And I do the fusion at the same time. So here, it's a follow up. Already six years. Now everything is good. So from these cases, I want to share some of the my wave point. I think do as based on our experience, carry one. Basically, imagination, atlantal axial dislocation are three pathologic process. They may occur together or separately. Basically, imagination and dislocation could be the cause of the tonsillar herniation, but not the only reason. And Dr. Gore in 1998 classified the basal imagination as two types. And 2014. We modified this classification and classified it as four types. I think maybe the technique is the same on different types, but when the type has syringomyelia, should be take considered separately. Sometimes even the technique is the same, but sometimes you have to change the technique. So. I think the knowledge about the carries and basal imagination have a long year, had a history of 100, more than 130 years. So now various present reduction techniques towards dislocations. So you see, 87, uh, 1987, 1984, even to now. But this history only have 33 years. So it seems like we are looking for the white cats and black cats. So the best cats is who can capture the rats. And also we need to find the responsible pathology process should be identified in different patients. Individualized procedures should be tailored and to different patients. And also, it's something like a electricism. 就像那个一个上海最近看这个安家里头这个上海老洋房里头讲的这个折中主义，其实有很多的理论可能我们都要去去集中起来，而不是说钻到一个牛角尖里，非得说一种技术是最好的。我想这样的话可能会更有帮助。Okay, that's end of my lecture. Thank you for your attention. Welcome. Any questions and uh, comments? Okay. Thank you, Professor Fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any question for any question? You know, because we have uh, already a lot of discussion during the presentation. So, thank you. Thank you again, Professor. Okay. Fan. Thank you.